What's up, the John Squad? This is John Palini here, your YouTube World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion here on YouTube. Let's get things going here. What a SmackDown we had last night. I really enjoyed it. This is the Smack. This was the last SmackDown on Thursday. Then we go live on Tuesday for SmackDown, which I am excited for. And then we're going to have the draft on Tuesday. We're going to have everything. So, maybe a new WWE Champion, Seth Rollins. You never know what to expect. But how about we get things going on my WWE SmackDown review for July 14th, 2016. Writing down papers. So let's get things going here. We kick off. WWE SmackDown with Sasha Banks versus Dana Brooks. The, the winner of the match is Sasha Banks. She defeated Dana Brooks by submission. That's good. You know what that means now? She she gets her Women's Championship title shot at Battleground. So, by the way, Charlotte did announce that she will be defending her title against Sasha Banks at Battleground. So, Charlotte made it official now. Let's go, Sasha. Now, we have this one now. The next match we have was Dolph Ziggler. Do the Ziggle Wiggle. Do the Ziggle Wiggle. Okay. Uh, just using a grim reference right there. Dolph Ziggler defeated Rusev in a non-title match. Ziggler picked up the win after Zack Ryder, who was on commentary, distracted Rusev, and and um, he was on commentary, so he distracted Rusev. So now we have the next match. AJ Styles and Carl Anderson defeated Enzo and Big Cass. Enzo tapped out to the calf crusher. To the finish, you know what I mean? That's how the match finished. So, AJ Styles and Carl Anderson get the win. Mm. Zack Ryder was the next match. Zack Ryder defeated Alberto Del Rio. C, 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 C. Uh, after the match, Rusev came out. Mm. Rusev came out and tried to attack Ryder, but... It was countered, and Ryder threw Rusev into Del Rio, and, and Ryder stood tall. Woo! 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 You know it. Tyler Breeze defeated Kalisto? Really? 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 Hmm. Since when is Breeze Daniel getting up wins since... 2016, since when are they getting wins since a thousand years ago? When is Breeze Dango guys starting to get wins? I don't really like them to. When are they getting wins now? They had a win on Raw, they beat the Lucha Dragons, and now they beat Kalisto. And by the way, Kal Kalisto lost because he was distracted by Fondango. So, when are they now getting wins now? Oh, well, I guess it should be them for getting wins, so you never know. Now, the next segment we had was Miz TV with Darren Young and Bob Backlund. Darren Young has new theme music, too, by the way. Darren Young and Bob Backlund, who were guests on the, that was on Miz TV, the segment had me laughing. I was laughing hysterical during the segment. It was hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed the segment. So Miz starts asking Darren Young, "Are you nervous?" And and he, he tries to answer, but Bob Bob Backlund, uh, you know, like he interrupts and starts yelling at the Miz. Darren Young tries to calm down, and Bob Backlund's telling Darren Young to shut up. And and, you know, Miz calls Bob Backlund an old man. Really, Miz? Really? You've been champion for how long? Like, quite a while? Um, so that Facebook video was pretty funny, too, with him. And, old oh man, Backlund puts Miz in the, into the cross face. There was a segment backstage. With Shane McMahon and R-Truth and Goldust, Goldie. 
Okay, there was a segment with Jim Man and our truth Truth asked him if he can draft Golden Truth to SmackDown. Shane said he doesn't know yet. Come on, the guy hasn't made, made up his mind. He has to pick a GM, for crying out loud. Why are you asking him that for? He doesn't know yet. Gold just interrupts and asks Shane why you don't want Gold on SmackDown. And then... Gold Dust, uh, I forgot what I wrote here. Hold on, hold on. Take the layers. Gold Dust starts acting weird. Shitman walks away slowly, and our truth is saying, Wait, come back. And I don't know what's going to happen now, so we'll have to find out on Tuesday during the draft. Ooh, so excited now. We had WWE Champion defeated Kevin Owens by DQ. That's what happened there. When Rollins interfered, and Sami Zayn made the save. But wait, the show isn't over yet. Shane McMahon comes out and announces that it will be a tag team match. We have Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose. So now this is a tag team match, and this for the SmackDown main event. Seth. Rollins and Kevin Owens defeated Dean Ambrose and Zami Zayn. Because Kevin Owens kept distracting Zami Zayn and, you know, like distracted him in a way. And then Seth Rollins hits the pedigree and Ambrose. Boom. Ref counts to one, two, three. They are the winners. After the match, Dean Ambrose is checking on Zami Zayn. Rollins gets on the mic and says, Come on here. Let's fight. No, no. Come on. Let's fight. Come on. And he wants to fight Ambrose, but then Kevin Owens tries to come back in the ring and try to attack Ambrose, I think. Um, so then Dean Ambrose throws Owens over the ropes, and Dean Ambrose puts the dirty deeds on Seth Rollins. Yep, that's right, he put the dirty deeds on Seth Rollins, and of course the, the WWE Champion Dean Ambrose is standing tall holding the belt. You know what that means, guys? I think we're going to see a new WWE Champion on Raw. That's my perspective right there. Because usually when a champion's standing tall, they usually end up losing the belt. So I think Seth Rollins is going to claim back the gold. I don't know what you think about that, John Squad. But once again, John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below and subscribe for more. What did you think about SmackDown? I'm dying to know. What did you guys think about SmackDown? I enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's get things going here for SmackDown Live and then next Tuesday. I'm going to have to make my my SmackDown review for Wednesday now since it goes live. So every Wednesday you'll see a SmackDown review. Don't know what to make for next Friday's video. But once again, John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below and subscribe for more. You're all the best. You all mean a lot to me. And I love just talking to you guys. And no, no, I'm really being serious right now. I love talking to you guys. I love all my subscribers. I love each and every one of you all. Once again, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what you thought about SmackDown, and subscribe for more. Love each and every one of you all. Stay hyped. Peace. That's right.